Hey, Dean from Leisure Travel Vans. I'm very excited. We're in beautiful Florida and we're here to show you the 2023 Unity FX. I'm just going to set up camp because we're going to show this RV and we're going to do a little RVing ourselves. Hey, we're in beautiful Lake Manatee State Park in Florida with the Unity FX for 2023. We're just going to set up camp right now. I'm going to show you how simple it is. Just press a button. Boom. My awning is coming out. I can't wait to show you all the bells and whistles that are in the Unity FX. It has tons of features. It has two TVs. It's got an expandable bathroom. It's got a lounge area all wrapped in ultra leather in the back. It's got a pull-out computer desk workstation slash ottoman. It has the leisure lounge up front, which can be theater seats. It can be a sofa. It can be a day bed, be a chaise lounge, dinette area, a beautiful Murphy bed that comes down 68 inches wide, 76 inches long. I'm telling you, this motorhome has got everything with the Swiss Army knife of RVs. If you think this motorhome is beautiful on the outside, wait till I show you the inside. Come on, let's go. Hey, welcome inside the 2023 Unity FX. It's extremely flexible and I can't wait to show you all the things that it can do. We're gonna talk about colors. Look at this beautiful rift oak. We also have white oak and new for 2023, mocha. We also have the optional white upper cabinets. We have Antarctica countertops or concrete countertops three different leather colors. This is clay. We also have sand and dubs. You have lots of ways you can make your motorhome personalized to the exact colors that you want. Hey, have a look way up here. Brand new LED lighting throughout the entire motorhome. Look how beautiful this is. Soft light, absolutely fantastic. Of course, ducted air conditioning through the entire motorhome, which is very, very important. 16,000 BTU furnace with a heat pump as well. So the new lighting up in the roof makes the motorhome look absolutely fantastic. We have brand new flooring. Looks like actual ceramic tile. I had to get down on my hands and knees to make sure it wasn't. Look at this. Really cool. We extended the floor into the cab area. So you are one floor level all the way through the motorhome. So you're not going to trip and fall. That's a great, great safety feature. So the FX gives you two TVs. We have one in the rear and one in the front. And what's great about the front TV, as you can see here, we got the leisure lounge. I can sit back, relax, watch my favorite video. I can watch it from this side. No problem at all. I can actually even watch it from here or I can pull the TV out. Look at this. And I can watch it this way driver passenger seats, or I can watch it all the way in the back. Or if you're cooking, even better in the galley area, your favorite cooking show while you're cooking. Absolutely fantastic. Built-in sound bar as well, and that's all Bluetooth activated. Up above here, we've got a smart Blu-ray player, and we have our switcher box. If I want to watch a movie here, TV in the back, TV in the back, movie here. We also have a great satellite dish option called the WineGuard T4. It does dish, direct, and bell. So you can uh, hook your receiver up in here and you can actually switch watching satellite TV here or satellite TV back there, movie here, movie back there. We've also got some coax connection cables here and we've got a wine guard Wi-Fi booster on the roof. So it's a TV antenna booster. It's also a Wi-Fi booster that you can do 4G with as well. You can either buy the service from WineGuard or you can get a secondary SIM card from your phone provider. And that's all right here. So all your entertainment is all conveniently in one area. And of course, our beautiful opening skylight. Lots of fresh air, lots of natural light. And you can control the natural light if you have too much of it or it gets too hot. You can bring this across and still have some air coming into the motorhome. Or if you have a few bugs around and you still want to have some air coming into the motorhome. Or you can just go half and half. But actually just perfect. So lots of beautiful skylight. And I would say you can use this as an emergency escape. Another nice option is the optional front table that goes right here. If you want a secondary table, computer desk, just to kick back, relax, watch TV. The Mercedes-Benz seats turn and swivel and become part of the motorhome. They recline and they actually expand out if you have long legs, which is absolutely fantastic. All done in ultra leather, synthetic man-made leather. Doesn't get hot, doesn't get cold, doesn't mold, doesn't mildew. We have 
three different leather colors but this is a nice little option to have it swivels around so you can just kick back if somebody's still sleeping in bed in the morning you can use it as a work center a couple little things we got usb connections here for charging this is an inverted plug as well this is the leisure lounge so if i'm sitting back kicking back and relaxing and i want to make it with an ottoman look at this quite simple this just pulls out i now have an ottoman for kicking back and relaxing. Got a place here for my drink. So now I've got ottoman. There's also an ottoman on that side as well. We also have a pullout ottoman at the back, which I'm gonna show you in a little bit. So nice little feature. So this is your backing when we make it into a booth, but you can also use it as an adjustable armrest. Very, very smart. Plus you can use this secondary support table that we use for the main table. You can use it as a secondary table for watching your favorite movie, putting your uh, drinks on there, or you can use it as a laptop table as well. So very ingenious, very ingenious. So theater seating, I can also make it into a sofa. Look at this, very smart. So you got a nice sofa area. You can also use it as a day bed. You can also use it chaise lounge. Very, very unique the way all the different things that the Leisure Lounge can do in the Unity FX. Or we can make it into a booth for dinner. I'm getting kind of hungry. Look at this. Very simple to do. This pulls out. This drops out there. Look at this beautiful table with a mirror in it as well. And look at this dinette area right here. And you can see that it's expandable. I can expand it out if I want to have dinner for up to for people there's two cushions come with this look at this very nice one two three four slide right in here dinner shall be served also use it as a work area you can use it as a game board area playing games use it for your computer desk as well like i said this is the swiss army knife of rvs now we can make it into a bed if it's time to go to bed simple just move your cushion out of the way and look at this we've got a beautiful huge murphy bed 68 inches wide yes you heard me correct 68 wide 76 inches long one big bed oh, oh, oh yes yes you heard me correct 68 inches wide it's almost king width 76 inches long it's almost queen length it's a big bed it is super comfortable foam mattress it's got some other great features we have our Window in the back, landscape window. It opens up for cross ventilation at night, which is great. Opens all up. We also have privacy blind right there. We have reading lights. You want to do some work on your laptop. And why not? Because we've got back supports built right in. Look at that. Back supports built in. Work on my laptop. Sit back, relax, watch TV, watch a movie. It's the perfect bed. The bed is fully down. Look at this. I can walk around the bed. It becomes an island bed or a walk around bed. I can get to the galley. I can get to the fridge and I can get to the bathroom. Look how simple that is. And when you want to put it up, even more simple. You can leave some of your bedding on there. You can leave your bed spread on there. Just make sure it doesn't go past here. So when you bring it down for make it into a bed, it takes like, I don't know, 45 seconds. It's quite amazing. And then when you want to bring it back up, you just simply hit this button here and up it goes. So in order to bring the bed fully down, you have to have the slide out fully out. Otherwise it would hit the galley. Right above the cab area, we have some more storage area, which is great. We also have our optional safe that goes here. So lots of great storage here. We also have our front window blind that goes in, curtain that goes across the front windshield. So privacy at night. And here new for 2023 on all Unity models is multiplexing, the Firefly multiplexing system. So you can control the motorhome right off of this main control pad. Plus we have secondary control pads throughout the motorhome. So you can check the levels of your fresh water, gray water, black, propane. You can set your auto gen start to come on at certain times. If you have pets that gets too hot in the motorhome, you can set it by temperature. Auto generator will come on, turn on the air conditioner, cool the motorhome down, that auto gen start. So you can set your air conditioning, your light system. You can turn all your lights off. You can turn all your lights on. 
You can also turn off individual lights, all done right through here. Plus, you can run it off your smartphone. If you have a smartphone, you can run the motorhome off of your smartphone. All you have to do is download the app. Multiplexing, standard on all 2023 Unity models. You're gonna love this when you enter the motorhome. We have a little place for shoe storage, which I should have done earlier. Get your shoes in here, out of the step well. You're not gonna trip and fall on them. Absolutely beautiful, I love that feature. And then of course, storage, look at this. Hanging closet, absolutely lots of hanging closet on an FX. And look at this, nice big storage area back in here. And above here is our inside service center. So we're multiplexed now. So there's a few other controls that are not multiplexed. So your optional four point equalizer leveling jacks. That's right there, great option to have. We also have our optional 200 watt or 400 watt solar panels on the roof, our controller panel right here and our Truma AquaGo Comfort Plus hot water heater, the controller right here. So you've got a couple settings on it. If it's on Eco, it does not heat the one liter of hot water. When you have it on Comfort, it will continuously heat that one liter of hot water. So you have instant hot water all the time. You also have off and you have clean. Over here, we have our 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter. This is our control panel here. So if you're uh, dry camping, you're not plugged in and you want to turn the battery power over to 120 volt power to watch TV, things like that, then you would turn it on. When you're plugged into shore power, you would not turn on your inverter. Over here, we have our slide out controller right here. So you always want to be looking at the uh, slide out when you're bringing it in and out. And this model has the optional lithium batteries. So we have 200 amps of lithium batteries. This is the heater system for it. Lithium batteries do not like the cold. 34 degrees, 35 degrees Fahrenheit, they do not give or take a charge. So then you would turn on your battery. You can see the light turns red. That'll keep those batteries nice and warm so that you can use them in some colder weather. So this is your inside service center, easy access to it right above the door. And we have our beautiful screen door, which I absolutely love, look at this. And we have a nice privacy shade right here that locks in place. We've got our battery disconnect switch so I can turn all my 12 volt battery power off. I also have my fuse controller. I have my breaker box. And we also have our beautiful lit handle for getting in and out of the motorhome, all wrapped in ultra leather. And here's our secondary control panels for our multiplexing system. So you can, once again, control the motorhome. You can turn all the lights in the motorhome completely off, completely on. If you hold an individual light, it'll dim it as well. You'll see these control panels throughout the motorhome. The FX has got a huge galley, absolutely fantastic. Your galley area points into your campground area. Solid Corian, this is concrete Corian. We also do Antarctica, so two different countertops. Deep stainless steel sink, chrome faucet. I like this so you can be pouring water and still doing some kitchen work and getting your food ready and still have water pouring. And look at these storage bins, look at this. Nice big pot and pan storage bin, storage bin. Another place here for your utensils. And I love this little place here for your cleaning rags. And look at this soft clothes. Absolutely fantastic. This is Rift Oak. More storage over back in here. Underneath here, I love the beautiful curved door. Easy access to your Truma AquaGo Comfort Plus hot water heater. I love the big pitcher window. Of course, awning style windows. You can open these all the way up. Look at that. can be pouring rain outside. You can have lots of fresh air coming into the motorhome. Daytime shades, look at that. See how they lock in place here. And we have nighttime shades with built-in holders. Look at this, built-in holders. So you can have the windows open, have fresh air coming in, which is great, and it preventing any light from coming in. So you can see, I'll actually love that. Lock back up into place. Over here, we got our stainless steel backsplash. We have an inverted plug. So you have a coffee maker, plug that in. If you're dry camping, turn on your 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter. Coffee in the morning or toast without turning on your generator. Accessory channel, paper towel holder, fantastic place here for spices, your dish rags, things like that. We have one of our secondary multiplexing panels right here. Once again, I can control different areas in the motorhome. I can also turn my fantastic fan up and on. So look at that. So when I'm cooking, it's right above the stove. Absolutely perfect. And speaking of the stove, look at this. Two burner, spark ignition stove. It's got a built-in backsplash. Of course, my fan's right above it, so all the fumes are gonna go out of the motorhome. So very simple to use. Fire it up, look at that. Ooh, hot. 
Always make sure you turn it completely off. Make sure that that flame is completely off before you close this back down. You know, an area that makes the galley even bigger, so you got another working area as well. If you look up above, we got some more cabinets up above, and of course, built-in LED lights looks fantastic. This is done with our optional Fenix Bianca White upper cabinets. So that looks absolutely fantastic. Nice little option to have. So if you like a little bit of contrast, it's absolutely fantastic. Look how big these cabinets are. Look how deep this is, right? You can fit a full size plate in here. If it's a small cabinet, you can't put a plate in it. It's kind of useless. Cups above, plates below. And these are all done in European hidden hinges. And look at this, soft close, soft close, and listen. And some more storage, look at this, nice little storage area up above here. And of course, what would it be without a beautiful pull-out pantry? Absolutely fantastic. Put all your canned goods in there, your Jenny Craig diet things that I'm not doing, but it's absolutely great. I absolutely love the pull-out pantry. On the other side of the galley, you've got our beautiful convection microwave. So it's a microwave and it's also an oven. It's a convection microwave so that you can bake and microwave things. When you order the optional lithium battery package, we invert the microwave. And down below, we've got our beautiful 6.7 cubic foot three-way fridge, two doors, so separate freezer, separate fridge, two doors, and you're gonna absolutely love this fridge because from this area here, if I wanna grab something, it opens both ways. Absolutely fantastic. So if I'm in the front area here, I can open it this way, and if I'm in the back lounge area, I can open it this way. And this is a three-way fridge, so it runs on 12-volt power, it runs on 120-volt power, and it runs on propane. So three different fuel sources to run the fridge. When you get into a smaller motorhome, usually you have no storage. The FX is the ultimate of storage. A second hanging closet right here. This is where we also keep our optional table for the front area. So nice hanging closet back here. We've got some drawers here. Once again, all done in soft clothes. Fantastic. More storage down below. Look at that nice big storage area right there. This is unbelievable. So big, huge bed up front, secondary lounge area. So if somebody's still sleeping in and you want to sit back here, watch TV, this is really a motorhome and an office area. Use it as a day bed if you want to have a little nap. I had to do that yesterday. What rear lounge area wouldn't be complete with a beautiful TV right here? And we also have an inverted plug as well. But here's the really cool thing. We've got a beautiful pull out. I like to think of it as a computer desk, but secondary table as well. If you have to do work, this can be your office, which is absolutely fantastic. So. This is very, very smart. And it's also an ottoman. This is very cool. Like I said, this is the Swiss army knife of RVs. Push this back down. Put this up like this. Look at this. I've got a beautiful ottoman. I can use this ottoman here or I can slide it up front too. So got a beautiful ottoman area. So it's a desk. It's an eating area. And it's an ottoman. Place here for your phone, glasses, things like that. Secondary multiplexing panel, right, where you can control the lights in this area. And look at this. We have uh, USB charging ports here. Have another 120 plug in here. Great area. Love the big picture window. Once again, awning style windows. You can open them up nice and wide. You can have ventilation coming in. And we have daytime and nighttime shades, lots of natural light, lots of airflow. Even if it's pouring rain out, you can still have your windows open. And look at this storage area up above here. Look at this, unbelievable, the amount of cabinet trees that is in this motor home. Once again, European hidden hinges. You can see how they all close. And they're nice, big, deep cabinets as well, which is very important. So lots of cabinet space. We have ducted air conditioning. We have the new lights all the way into the back area here. So I've got nice cool air here on a hot day kicking back. We also have a heat pump. We have a 15,000 BTU air conditioner with a heat pump so I can do heat and air conditioning through the ceiling. So this is our new FX bathroom door. So we can leave it in the closed area, which gives the lounge area way more space. We have a full size dressing mirror for getting ready in the morning. Easy handle to move it open. 
And look at this, how simple it is to expand the bathroom. Look at that, locks in place. So now I've got a bigger bathroom area. So you almost could use this with this closed like this. There's still lots of room, but when you expand it out, wow, what a difference. Welcome into the full size bathroom in the Unity FX. Nice big shower area. I'm just over six foot one. You can see I've got lots of room, probably six four to the top here. Nice big area, sliding door for the shower. And look how much room you have in here. Making myself dizzy. Over here, we've got our built-in shower head. Got a place here for your soaps and shampoos. Absolutely fantastic. We got a little control switch for water flow. So if you're dry camping, you want to control the water flow on the shower head, you can. Place here for hanging towels, bathing suits. You can drip dry them. You got a light here, LED light. Handle here for getting in and out of the shower area. Here we got a nice mirror here and you can see we've got the leisure clothing on. Make sure you check out our leisure store where we have lots of leisure gear that you can buy. And so you can accessorize yourself, cups and caps and lots of great things. So over here, we've got our little vanity here. We've got our sink, chrome faucet. We've got an accessory channel here, place here for hanging your towels, toothpaste, toothbrushes, things like that. Nice little storage area right here. This is our full water filtration system right there. Easy access to that. China toilet right there. Got a place here for cleaning. This is not a bidet, even though some people do use it as a bidet. That's for cleaning your, your bowl, which is very nice. Right here, we have a 120 volt plug. We also have an, another multiplexing panel here. Once again, I can turn off all the lights, or I can just turn the lights on in the bathroom only. And then above here, we've got a fantastic fan. So pretty simple to do. Once again, press that button and open it goes. And all the air goes out of the motorhome. And we have a medicine cabinet right here for all of your toiletries and things like that. Nice, big, expandable bathroom, the Swiss army knife of RVs, lounge area, office, expandable bathroom, nice big galley area, and of course the leisure lounge, which can be a sofa, day bed, chaise lounge, can have ottomans, and of course is also a full size Murphy bed, 68 inches wide, 76 inches long, 25 feet, one inch from bumper to bumper. And let's talk about what powers this beautiful motorhome down the highway and no steps to go in and out of. And now I'm in the Mercedes-Benz chassis area. We're in the cab area of the Sprinter 3500 series chassis, 11,000 pound GVWR, 15,250 pound GCWR. I mean, this is one beautiful chassis. V6 turbo diesel engine, 188 horsepower, 325 foot pounds of torque. It rolls down the highway. Electric assisted steering, which is absolutely fantastic. Look at this, I can turn this thing on a dime, one finger, absolutely incredible. All the controls are built right into the dash. I never have to take my eyes off the control panels. But let's talk about a couple other little things. Little sunglass holder here, nice little, got map lights, we have storage up in here, sun visors, power windows, power locks. We've got power seats, heated as well, one button press. If you happen to have long legs, look at this. The Mercedes-Benz seat pops open for a longer leg. Guys, and speaking of long legs, I have a 34 inch inseam, right? I have the seat not even all the way back and I can't touch the pads. I have to bring the seat all the way forward like this. You have some lumbar support, it's super comfortable. We have a seven speed automatic transmission that powers this baby down the road. I mean, fuel economy is incredible. We got charging ports, we got a, a wireless charging port right here. We got USB-C charging ports there, built-in cup holders. We got airbags in the seats, airbags in the chassis, airbags in the steering wheel for safety. Safety is very important. We order all of our chassis with lots of safety features that we get from Mercedes-Benz. Front collision impact assist, lane keeping assist, side wind turbulence assist as well, which is very important. Adaptive cruise control, traffic sign assist. It tells you exactly what the mileage is on all these little side roads and vineyards. Some of these features are subject to change based on availability from Mercedes-Benz. We also have telescopic and tilt steering, so you can be very comfortable when you're driving down the road. The ergonomics of the chassis is incredible. Everything is at my fingertips. You can actually move the transmission up and down by speed, so I can downshift and upshift right here, paddle shifting. 
just like on a sports car, like on a Corvette or a Porsche. Of course, we have power disc brakes all the way around the motorhome. We have six wheels, right? So we have dualies at the back, two in the front, so a total of six wheels, nice and stable going down the road. This is like an iPad right here. So everything I have, I can control the entire motorhome right here. I can set different channels. Sirius Radio is available. It's a subscription service, but that comes with the motorhome as well. Hey, Mercedes. How can I help you? Voice activated navigation system and help service. Absolutely fantastic. I can browse through the different menus. I have Bluetooth. I can actually hook up for Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. All my information on the chassis right here tells me what my fuel consumption is. I can tell what's going on. I can even hit my owner's manuals for information. It tells me where I am for oil changes and DEF refills. So everything is at a touch of my fingers. And we have My LTV. That is one fantastic program. All manuals, product videos. While your motorhome is being built, you can watch all the videos on how everything works in the motorhome. We also have all the interior and exterior dimensions. Plus, you can join different travelers clubs as well we have travelers clubs that have rallies all over the place our photo contest that we do every year which turns into our yearly calendars we have some great prizes for that all my LTV members have live chat access to our service advisors courtesy of leisure travel vans we give two years of roadside assistance on every leisure travel van when they're first purchased you can renew that service later on it gives you roadside assistance gives you a lockout service fuel service gives your concierge service so make sure that you use our roadside assistance program hey what a beautiful inside the unity fx i can't wait to show you the outside come on let's go have a look at that okay let's have a look at the outside of the unity fx for 2023 let's start up front here we've got our beautiful awning we brought it out already so you can see how big it is over seven feet in length this way, just over 12 feet this way. Built-in LED lights, which are on. Absolutely fantastic. It's got wind sensor, which means that if the wind comes up, it'll automatically go back in. And it's all automatic. Just press a button. In she goes. We're on the uh, passenger side or the awning side or campground side of the uh, motor room. You can see that the mirrors will push all the way in, right? Which is nice if you're in a tight area. We've got our Mercedes-Benz chassis. We have our fiberglass step for getting in and out of the motorhome. Our integrated fiberglass moldings that tie in the body into the chassis. You can see how beautiful they look, but it also is more aerodynamic when you're going down the road. Let's talk about this. This is our vacuum bonded wall. So this is Vetrolite exterior skin, boxed aluminum framing, two pound density polystyrene, and we vacuum bond that into a one piece wall. So we have two one piece walls. We have one one piece roof and a one piece floor, which is steel framed on the Unity. So nobody builds them like we do. So this is all done with full body paint. Each color is painted three times and two coats of clear. And we have eight different exterior colors. This is white suede. We also have Eurosport, silver, graphite, shadow, glacier, champagne, and everybody's favorite, Atlantic blue. See how beautiful the curved wall is. We actually have a little light here for getting in and out of the door. Absolutely fantastic. And look at this, storage. Storage is very important. Smaller the motorhome, less storage, but we have lots of storage, exterior and interior. So here's our one of our interior storage fiberglass. It's got a solid strut here, so it's not going to fall and hit you on the head. This is all done in galvanized sheet metal. We spray foam all of our underneath, our tanks, our wheel wells, and all of our compartments. That way stones aren't going to damage the motorhome. It also keeps it quieter when you're going down the road. They're all lined as well. Absolutely very well done. Just going to open up this door for a second. You can see we've got a lock on our step for camping mode. In travel mode, it automatically goes up. I'm gonna have it on camping mode. It'll stay down, that way you don't wear out your motor on your step. Also, don't panic. If you turn on the ignition, it automatically goes back up. And this is also where we store our batteries, in behind here. So we have standard six volt AGM batteries or optional 12 volt lithium batteries. So great little option to have. And I love this beautiful screen door, look at that. Absolutely fantastic. We've got struts across here for strength. That way, if you have pets, 
Pet's not gonna come through the screen door. Like this little lit handle for getting in and out of the motorhome so you can turn the light on and off. Also makes it just easier to get in and out of the motorhome. We've got another storage bin and we have our 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter. We can't have dirty power. We don't want to damage them, damage our TVs, things like that. So pure sine wave inverter, very important. Also another little storage area there as well. Right above here, we've got our sexy frameless glass windows awning style. So they will open up from the inside. It can be pouring rain. You can still have air going into the motorhome. I love the little light above here. You can see we've got our LED lights on our awning on, so you have lots of light at night. As we work our way down, we've got our Truma AquaGo Comfort Plus hot water heater. This is one fantastic water heater. So you have instant hot water when you have it on Comfort Plus, which is very important. So this little one liter of hot water stays nice and hot. We have individual lines that go from this hot water heater to each of our faucets. So when you turn on a hot water faucet, you have instant hot water. Truma AquaGo Comfort Plus hot water heater. The best hot water heater in the industry. And right there we have our optional four point leveling jack. So we go four jacks, auto activated. So you press the button, it automatically levels, and then press the button again, automatically brings the jacks back up. Right here we've got 120 volt uh, plug-in for the outside here. And then right here is our anchors when you order the optional table. Nice outside table it's a great option to have it's adjustable legs it's made out of aluminum it locks in place absolutely fantastic if you have an electrical griddle you can plug it into here or your main propane barbecue which we've got a propane quick connect great little table if you do a lot of dry camping and uh, you're not in a campground where they have a table this is absolutely a great option to have because the table's always with you. If you order the optional table, this is where it stores, right in here. We've got our optional Alcoa aluminum rims and we go with six Alcoa rims. On the outside, we have the Durabrite exterior finish, which is absolutely fantastic. You can check your inner and outer tire pressure when you order the optional aluminum rims. You can see underneath here, we spray foam all of our wheel wells. Once again, it just makes it quieter when you're going down the road, prevents debris and things from smashing into your wheel wells. Our beautiful fiberglass fender skirt. Then right here, this is our exhaust for our 16,000 BTU furnace. So we heat the motorhome two different ways. We have a heat pump built into the 15,000 BTU air conditioner, runs electrically, or you have the 16,000 BTU furnace, which runs off of propane. So two different ways to keep you nice and warm. Down here, we have our optional Generator, we have their 3.6 kilowatt propane generator. Also, we have the optional 3.2 kilowatt diesel generator. That also comes with auto gen start as well. Auto gen start means that you can set it for different settings. You can do it by temperature so that if it gets too hot in the motorhome, you have pets. Generator comes on, cools down the air conditioner. You can set it for voltage. Batteries get low, generator automatically comes on. You can also set it by time. Two different generators you can go with. Another beautiful picture window up above and Storage, this is our main storage area here. You can put a couple sets of golf clubs in there, the carry style bags fit in there, no problem. Two sets, I've done it myself. You can put it in your lawn chairs, things like that. So nice big exterior storage area right there. And speaking of more storage, look at this. More storage down underneath there, little place in here. And here's our propane quick connect for your gas barbecue. Just plug it in there and set it on the table, perfect. Look how beautiful the white suede looks. Absolutely fantastic. Built-in backup camera runs off of our main Mercedes-Benz monitor up front, which is 10.25 inches. Got our LED lights, and marker lights up above, LED lights for your brake lights and backup lights. This is all molded fiberglass, two-piece molded fiberglass. So we have a rear molded fiberglass piece here and a rear molded fiberglass bumper as well with a steel bumper in behind it. If you were to accidentally bump into something, you could still replace this part without having to replace the entire mask, which is super smart. Down below here, we've got our 5,000 pound receiver hitch with our seven prong connector for towing. So always check your owner's manual for how much you can tow with your motorhome. Okay, we have our outside service centers. We're over here on the driver's side of the motorhome. So this is your three inch dump right here. So you hook up your blue hose here and you would dump it. We also have an optional macerator pump, which is already all connected. So that's a nice little option to have if you want something that's already all connected, just pull the hose out and dump your station. Here's where you uh, fill up your propane right here. This is your black water flush right here and here's our valves we have our black water and our gray water you always dump your black water first and then your gray water that cleans the hose out right over here we've got our satellite 
connection. So if you have a portable satellite dish, you can hook that up and plug it into here. We also have the optional WineGuard T4 satellite dish that does dish direct and bell, which is a nice option to have. Cable, if the campground's got cable, you'd plug it in there and then you've got cable TV up front. And when you're filling up your propane, not that you would have to do this, you would always turn the propane switch off. Sometimes you have to turn them off when you're going on uh, ferries, uh, boats, or certain tunnels have to have your propane off. So it's very simple to turn it off and on. And here's our outside water pump switch. So if you want to use the exterior shower, you would uh, turn your water pump to the on position when you're uh, dry camping. So when you want to fill up your tank with fresh water, you'd run your water hose up through here. And that way you can close this and leave it hooked up all the time if you're at a service campground. And right above here, we've got our city water and our tank. So I can, if I'm on city water, so water from the campground, I would leave it on city water. Or if I want to fill my tank, I move it over to tank fill. And then I would fill up my tank for portable carrying water. Over here, we've got our exterior shower. Pretty simple right here. This just locks in place like this. And I have hot and cold exterior shower. Great if you've got pets, things like that. This is your winterizing bypass valve so that you don't put RV antifreeze into your freshwater tank. This is a nice little feature. This is called a pickup hose. If I want to uh, winterize my motorhome, I would could put this into the RV antifreeze, turn on my water switch and suck water in through the uh, line so that uh, nothing's going to freeze on me. Or you can use it to put fresh water into your freshwater tank. So if you're dry camping and you had a jug of water and you want to put some water into your freshwater tank, you could suck the water in through this hose into your freshwater tank. So great little pickup hose there for winterization and for refilling your freshwater tank. This is for draining your tank. Using this tool, you can dump your fresh water in case you want for winterization or if you just wanted to drain your fresh water tank. So I don't have to crawl completely underneath the motor home. I just do this. How great is that? As we work our way down, look how beautiful this wall is. The beautiful curve. Oh, I absolutely love it. Full body paint. Hey, let's talk about this. This is our shore power connection. So we plug it in here. You can see this light comes on, it's blue. That means I've got power coming in from that source. We also have a built-in surge protector in here. So if it was bad power coming in, it would stop that power from coming into the motorhome and damaging any of our electronics. So built-in surge protector on all Unity motorhomes. This is what's great about the Unity FX. I mean, you can have the slide out in, it's still fully functional with the exception of the bed coming down, but you can go to your bathroom, you can cook, you can eat, all those things, and then boom, the slide out comes out. Fantastic. Slide out is curved, just like the rest of the motorhome. Vacuum bonded, steel frame floor, just like the rest of the motorhome. So it's built super strong, fully insulated awning style windows above we got a slide topper awning so that no debris can go in and out of the motorhome so for the slide out box when it's going in and out we use a three seal process we have a bulb seal and we have a sweeper seal and another bulb seal so that when it closes it closes tight so no water can go into the motorhome Nobody builds a slide out box like we do. Look how many screws hold our slide out box together. Super strong. We use a four track system, track on the top, track on the bottom, track on the top, track on the bottom. So the slider always is going in perfectly square. And look at this. This is probably one of the best features ever. The slide out comes out and so does the storage compartments. I don't have to crawl underneath the motorhome to get into my storage compartments and two nice size storage compartments. Plus, we all, this is where we keep our three inch dump hose right here. And even if you order the optional macerator pump, we always include the three inch dump hose just in case you need to use it. So that's all very simple and easy to access. Built in struts once again, spray foam, galvanized sheet metal, built in struts so it's not gonna fall and hit you on the back of the head. Really, really well done. Wow, you can see how beautiful the slide out goes back in, right? It's very stealth looking. You can't even tell that this is a slide out. Contour is exactly the same contour of the curved wall. You can see our beautiful contoured transition molding into here. I love this. You can easy access into your diesel fuel right here. And nobody can tamper with your fuel because when you close this and lock it, it's locked in place. Super nice. And I love the courtesy light right there. A little courtesy light for getting in and out of the motorhome. Fiberglass step for getting in and out. Once again, this mirror also 
moves in. So if you're in a tight position, you can slide the mirrors in. We are seven feet, 11 inches wide, total width. We are 10 feet, seven inches in height, and we are 25 feet, one inch long. Of course, we have our optional Alcoa aluminum rims. And of course, what powers this beautiful motor home is the Mercedes-Benz 3500 series cutaway chassis V6 engine, 188 horsepower, 325 foot-pounds of torque, has a seven-speed transmission. Absolutely a dream to drive. If you've never driven one, I suggest you go and see your local leisure travel van dealer, take one out for a ride. It's absolutely fantastic to drive. In the uh, chassis, we have a little step here for cleaning your windshield. Right here is our control center for our safety features, but gets fantastic fuel economy. This is a molded fiberglass front mass, fully insulated. Hey, thank you very much for watching the 2023 Unity FX, our Swiss Army Knife RV, because it is absolutely amazing. All the different things that you can do with this. If you're looking for something small and you want to take it anywhere in North America, all the different campgrounds, all the different state and federal parks, this is the motorhome for you. A full Murphy bed that comes down two lounge areas, one in the back and one up front with the leisure lounge that you can make it into a sofa, you can have it into theater seats, dinette area to a chaise lounge, two TVs, a hidden ottoman that also pulls out and makes into a computer desk or a work area. You got the big galley area and of course the expandable bathroom. All of this in 25 feet one inch. You have great interior and great exterior storage. Hey make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Ring that bell. Make sure you check out our website. You can configure this motor home with the exact options and colors that you want. It'll show you exactly how it's going to look. It'll price it out for you as well. Also check us out at upcoming RV shows and see the YouTube Unity FX for 2023 in person. Hey, Dean from Leisure Travel Vans, I'm going down the trail here in Florida. Hope I come back. Yeah.